Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video, I will talk about how you can create loops in VBA, the Visual Basic for application. And I will show you guys that how a loop in VBA can make your life easy while working in Excel. So before starting, what I will do, I will create a hypothetical example for you guys. So suppose I have a column in which I have uh, data related to triangles. Suppose I have a column base. Base is the, uh, uh, the base of the triangle and I have uh, some values. Suppose I am giving some hypothetical values 7, 12, 15, 18. So these are some hypothetical value. And then I also have uh, a data related to perpendicular of our triangle. So perpendicular of a triangle uh, and I'm also giving some hypothetical values 9, 7, 12 and 10. So these are the hypothetical values uh, of a triangle. After that I want to compute the hypotenuse of the triangle. So So actually I want to compute the hypotenuse of the triangle as you know that there is a very famous formula for the hypotenuse is that uh, base yeah, that hypotenuse is equal to uh, is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so I will be using that formula to compute the hypotenuse square but I have to compute the hypotenuse uh, hypotenuse for all these rows so how you can do that you can do that very easily by creating a loop uh, in VBA so I'm just giving a hypothetical example based on this example you can create a code according to your need so in order to do that what I will do I will go to Visual Basic I will go to my developer tab and after that I will be going to Visual Basic. So after going to Visual Basic, I will be creating my macro. So in order to create a macro, you have to go in this button and click this down arrow and select this module. So now I will uh, create my own macro. So whenever you have to create your macro or your part of the code, you have to start with sub and then you have to give the macro name. So I will be saying first loop. So this will be my macro name or my code name, uh, which I will start. So as you can see that this macro or this part of the code, we in, in VBA we call it a macro. So this macro will be starting from here, from this line till this line. So, and I will be writing my all code within this sub and end sub lines so now the point is that uh, I, I have to compute the value which will be uh, which will uh, then printed here so in order to do that first i have to take the values from this cell and this cell then compute those values and put it here so in order to do that I will be creating some locals in uh, in VBA. So I will go back and in order to create a local which will help you to compute, you need to write dim. The dim is uh, allows you to create locals. So the, my first local will be, uh, let's say, because this is the base, so I will call it B and I will call it as integer because the base is taking the integer value so I will call it integer integer and then I will pressing comma and after that my second value uh, will be perpendicular this is perpendicular so I have some local where I can assign this cell value to a local so I will be calling it P as integer. So I will be, you can just click it and then comma and other local.
example i will be creating because once i will be compute this value i have to go to the next row so i will be creating one local that will allow me to move to this next row in this column c so uh, don't worry if you don't know why, what this local will do i will explain more when i will be creating a loop so i will be calling it r for row as in, that will be also integer because rows are changing from 2 3 4 so the row uh, local will be also an integer so i can say that so this is the part of the line where i have defined some locals uh, which i will be using in my uh, in my uh, i will use these locals in my loop and i will assign the values to these uh, to these locals so now the point is that when i will create a loop so in order to create a loop uh, the, the most famous loop is for loop maybe probably i will discuss more kind of loops in vb in my later videos so i will start with four the four is uh, is 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 saying that you are starting a loop and after that you will be mentioning this r which you have the local jet that you have just created after that i will be saying r and i will say that r will be equal to wait sorry uh, so we are saying that r will be equal to because we are starting from row number two so our row will be started from two two and our rows are ending at the row number six so i will be saying that my r will take the values from r to two six and i will say enter but whenever you start a for loop you must have to define with that it will also end so you must have that always whenever you use the for command must specify the next i in the next command the next r so it's, so i will be saying next r so what it will do that whenever it will execute the for the for loop it will suppose you will be writing down the commands here it will execute the command and then this will command will tell uh, VBA that okay move back to this the first line of the code and change the value of the R from of course if you are executing it, it the first time the R value will be 2 but when it will come to here the next value of the R will become 3 and then it will start executing your code whichever whatever code you will be written between 4 and next so that's why it's very uh, necessary that you define this next line next R or this next line otherwise you will get an error so i will go back to my loop where i will be defining uh, assigning the values now so the first thing is that i have to assign uh, some value to b from this cell so first i have to assign the b the, which is the base vector the value from this cell in order to do that you will be saying b is equal to and then in order to define in order to assign the value of that cell from b2 you will be saying cells actually cells is a very very uh, important function in vba so after that i will be uh, brackets and then you can see that here vba is saying what will be the row index the row index will be coming from this r so i will be saying r comma and the the base value is actually in column a so i will be saying inverted commas and then a and then bracket close in the same way i will be creating i will be assigning a value to this vector which i have defined p as an integer so i will be saying that p will be taking the value from cells and then again bracket again my row index will be the same as this because row 2 is having the first 5 and then having 9 so i will be again saying r actually this r value will keeps on changing with this loop 
and then comma then my i will specify the column index my column index will be this value b so i think if you don't define uh, if you if you, you can write it like this as b or if you and you can also if you know that this, this b is the second column then you can simply write two uh, two uh, two in uh, you can write down the numeric two also within this this cells function but here i know that the column is b therefore i will specify the b that the column is b and i will say enter and in i will also like to tell you guys that whenever you have to assign something to a local or a cell the, the thing that will be getting the value must be on the left hand side and the thing that you are assigning must be on the right hand side otherwise you will get an error you will not be doing this uh, you will not do it right so what i am doing is that i am telling excel uh, telling the vba that go to uh, this a2 get the value of this a2 and then assign it to b so the value is coming the value is actually here and i am assigning it to the b which is on the left hand side of this equality so always make sure that the things that you are assigning uh, uh, it should be on the left hand side now i'll move to the uh, computation so what i will do now i will tell that okay i, I will tell the vba that go to c2 and do some computation and assign the value here in order to do that i will come back to my vba code i will be writing down a formula again i will be using this function cells cells and then bracket then i will be telling the row the first row index which is r comma column index which is c and then brackets close and then equal to now i will be computing uh, the uh, comp i will using the formula to compute the perpendicular value so i will be saying brackets i will be saying base square very famous formula and then i will be saying p square and i will be taking under root for that i will be saying 0 0.5 so what i will do that what vb will do that it will come here it will use the values that i have assigned to b and p and compute this value and then assign this value to this cell which will the first time this loop will run it will be c2 and it will be uh, it will be pasted here so now the loop is ready to run in order to run this macro there are different options the the, the most uh, you can say convenient option is that once you are writing this code you can go to your uh, this tab and you can uh, click this play button if I, you play this you will be the exit the vb will be saying that do you want to run this macro the macro name is here the first loop and you will say run and now if i go back to my excel you can see that excel have automatically computed the values for you again if i change it to suppose uh, some other values and i will execute i will play it again you can see that this value will get changed i will say run as you can see now it becomes 13 before it was something different values because when when i play this macro again the vba have uh, uh, go to these cells again then adjust it according to the new values another important thing especially when you will be writing your macros or your function that you sometimes you need to debug your code so in order to do that there is a very uh, important tab uh, that you can uh, option that vba provides which is the debug so if you go to debug there is a step into option you can press step into and now so is uh, so i will say step into 
and now you can see that uh, uh, the other way of going to step into is saying f8 uh, just so i will go back to my excel now and i will close this window here and as i said that if you want to rerun it it's uh, you can go to visual basic click it again and play it from here but it's a bit cumbersome the more easier ways that you can create uh, a button to play if to run this macro uh, in order to do that you will go to your under your developer tab there is a button you can click that so you can create your button wherever you like So I will be creating a button. So I will be calling it. If you want to change this button name, you can change it here. Uh, it will be related to this. I don't want to edit it, so I will just say OK. So now, if I do any change, like suppose if I give it to value 15, and if I want that all of my values change according to the edits that I have made, you just have to click this button. This button will go to the macro that you have created, which have the loop in it. And, uh, and will adjust the values for you. So this video is all about how you can use a loop in a macro. Uh, probably in my later videos, I will uh, talk about a bit more about loops and nested loops. Thank you for watching the video.